Hi, I'm Hillary Tapley. I'm the moderator for the New Voice of Kennesaw Roundtable Discussion. Hi, my name is Michael Zeman, and I am the Vice President of the College of Libertarians of Kennesaw State University. I am here to represent Gary Johnson, the Libertarian Presidential Candidate for 2012. I'm Carl DeBeer, and I'm representing the KSU Sentinel as well as Al Radio, and I am an undecided voter. My name is George Sarton. I'm the Vice President of Kennesaw State Young Democrats, and I'm here representing President Barack Obama. Hi, I'm Justin Massey, Chairman of the Kennesaw State University College Republicans, and I'm here representing Romney Ryan. Hi, I'm Stephen J. Black. I'm an undecided voter, and I represent a host of organizations here at Kennesaw State University. For the first question, many important issues have been expressed during 2012 election. Issues ranging from job growth to national debt to rising health costs, etc. What issues do you think are the most important and why? There are many issues that are important to the voters this election season. I would say, from a personal perspective, that the economy is first and foremost. We are a nation at debt. We are a nation that has a very problematic tax code, and these are things we, as a people, and through our government, have to deal with. But also, foreign policy is very important. Rising tuition costs and our civil rights and liberties as citizens of this nation are something that we have to protect. I feel that as our nation is entering a new info informational age, uh, we have new issues that are raising and more debates we are having to decide on than we had before with technology and how that is, and I think that that's overlooked a lot in the issues. But again, with our economy and our jobs, people don't know what's going to happen in the next two, four, six years. The most important points that we have in this election, uh, they range from global points to, you know, where we stand with this, where, where America stands with Israel, uh, where we stand as far as our, uh, our foreign policy is, and at a national level, our debt, uh, how, much, uh, how much money we spend each year over a budget that we haven't even really had passed. Uh, we, need, we need a balanced budget, that's what I'm looking at. And at a local level, you know, gas prices. Four years ago, gas prices were at a dollar eighty-nine, and today they're surging. You know, they're around three fifty in the state of Georgia. So I think everything from a national level, uh, going from you know our troops overseas to the local level, spending spending money on gas. Those are the most important issues we face today. Most importantly, like you guys said, is, is debt reduction. We we have to address this is the the biggest issue because uh, we can't have a functioning economy when we're s just drowning in debt. Uh, there's a couple of ways to get at this, fair taxes, but the bulk of our debt comes from military spending, Social Security, and Medicaid, and until we address these issues, uh, I don't think we're going to see really any proper changes in, in how our government operates uh, as, as far as building up debt. As an undecided voter, there's so many things I can consider to be an important issue. I think Starting from gas prices, why is gas so high? Well, how are we going to fix it? Why do I have to pay so much in taxes? I'm still a broke college student. I don't understand that. Why is tuition continuously increasing, but we're not seeing a benefit for that? And what about me? I want to be a teacher. What about our education system? Now that all the vice presidential and presidential debates have been completed, do you think that these debates are helpful or hurtful to these candidates, and why? As an undecided voter, I feel like I was the target audience for the debates, and I didn't get swinged either way. I, it almost made me feel apathetic. Almost lost my vote for anyone because I, I just feel that the candidates lied, lied some more, and then lied about each other lying. So I don't like the debates. Think about who you watched was a very much more of an influence than actually the debate itself. The debate was just candor back and forth, back and forth. The same issues that we've seen, the same issues we see in the political commercials. It's nothing new came out in the debates that we were hoping for. I think the debates were helpful in a sense, uh, especially the first one for the Mitt Romney campaign. He stole that debate, he won it, he took it right out of under, uh, underneath Obama's uh, feet, and he, uh, you know, many people thought the debate would swing the polls. The polls right after that debate, in, that, in the next weeks, if you looked at Rasmussen, if you looked at in, uh, any of the polls, they are uh, honestly, uh, that is when the trend started to go towards Romney and, and give him a shift. So I think that first debate, the next three debates, you know, people were arguing with each other about middle school things that, um, well, they're large things, but, you know, the, the average voter is not really paying that much of attention to it, not caring as much. So I think the first debate was important, the, the latter three were not as popular. For topic number three, why do you think that so many eligible voters choose not to vote? Getting down to what we were just discussing, I think a lot of people are 
turned off by the political process. The uh, the 24-hour spin cycle, the uh, the fact that politicians in general have, have broken a trust with the American public. And this goes back a long way. It goes past uh, Watergate. It, it goes further than that. It, we have a long history of putting people in office who say they're going to do one thing and then they're curbed by special interests, whether that's a, a Democrat uh, cur curbing to, to something or, or a Republican, you know, being pulled into the, the, the Tea Party, which uh, pulls them away from the center. Uh, we, we found out that there's, there's a, a trust deficit in, in our voting system. Typically, or historically, the, the like four years ago, 53%, give or take a few percentage points, I'm not exactly sure, 53% of the uh, American registered voters, voters voted. So if you look at that, um, if you look at my local county right now, as far as uh, people that have voted early, there's already been 35% voter turnout in my county, Rockdale County. That is incredible. This election, a lot of people are voting. One thing that I've come across a lot is, especially among the young, they don't like either candidate. And I'm there to say, well, you do have extra option. A vote cast is never a wasted vote because you are expressing your opinion. You are expressing the way you think things should be. So I tell people, look into the third party candidates. Surely there's somebody there who you can agree on, if not the predominant Democratic or Republican candidates. So, at the very least, do your civic duty and get out there and vote. And now to move on to topic number four. As a college student, what issues do you think press you the most? I think jobs are our most important issue at the current time. If you look at our economy, uh, the graduate, uh, if you graduate from Kennesaw State University today, can you, do you even know what the percentage is of students that are either underemployed or unemployed? It's above 50%. So. The, if we look, if we took if us, us two, one of us is not going to get a job and get out of school for the average person, and that's a problem. So how do we do that? That is the number one issue that college students are looking at right now. And my personal opinion, uh, and uh, Republican uh, opinion, is that we need to make let the private industry do their job and let the, and get the government out of the way. Thank you for that discussion. Um, we're going to wrap things up. I'm Hillary Tapley, and that was the voice of Kennesaw.